Hello guys, welcome back from today, and we're going to be talking about Jason Robertson and if he can somehow crack the Stars roster next season. Now the 18-year-old right winger from Michigan, it was 39th overall in 2017, and he's been in the OHL with the, let's see, Kingston Frontiacs. Now let me know if I'm browsing that right, but in that season, in this last season with the 17-18 OHL season, he had 68 games played, 41 goals, 46 assists for 87 points, and now that's pretty good for the OHL. 7th in OHL points, and he's been doing very, very well for that team. And of course, 7th in the OHL in scoring when he's 18 years old is already pretty impressive, so you gotta like that. Now, he was called up to the AHL this past week for the Texas Stars in the playoffs, and he hasn't played any games. I don't think there's been too many injuries for the Texas Stars, so he's been pretty unlucky that perspective, but he hasn't played any games, so we can't really tell anything on the AHL side. But I do think that his sty style of play is something that the Dallas Stars need desperately. A guy who can perform offensive-wise and both defensive-wise on the wing. And I think that he could be a perfect third-line guy for the Dallas Stars in the future. I don't know if he plateaus and he's like a second-line kind of guy. But I do think that he can get a third-line plateau pretty easily. Especially since the style of play he does. And I feel like he's a really skilled. He has all his potential. And I don't think that he can get to a top-six role. But if he gets to a top-nine role and is able to get that not third-line, I think that he would be a great one going into the future for the Dallas Stars, a good depth piece for them for sure. And Dal Dallas Stars desperately needed somebody like that, a third line guy that can perform, that can perform offensively and both defensively, a guy that will chip in offensively and is still kind of in that depth kind of role. Not the top six kind of quality guy, but still can score and we've needed that in the past couple of seasons. We've needed more depth scoring and Jason Robertson will certainly bring that, especially if he gets up called up in the next couple of years. I feel like he'll be that perfect kind of guy that'll be that third liner. And if you are championship kind of team you want guys like Jason Robertson on the third line guys that can chip on offensively and do both kind of things it's something that really is important for a lot of teams that go all the way is that depth scoring and Jason Robertson when he comes up and when he's ready I feel like will provide a lot of that and that's something the starters desperately need and it's impressive to see what he's done as an 18 year old in the OHL it's going to be see it's going to be really interesting to see how he develops in the next couple of years and although I'm excited for him, I'm excited for what he will become, I don't think that the answer for him and his development is to rush him to the NHL when he's 19 years old next season, unless he really impresses, unless he's really impressive in camp or in the middle of the season or at the beginning of the season when, you know, the Stars might be desperate for somebody. I just think that rushing guy that's so close and doesn't really have the, you know, the top tier talent level, you know, you see a lot of top tier talent level guys that come in at 18 years old. I don't think that he's got kind of guy maybe he needs a couple more years in the AHL but to put him up in the NHL that early in his career I think doesn't really help him or doesn't even help the team I think that it's a lose-lose situation for both sides I think one to two years in the AHL, that AHL seasoning is going to be extremely important for him for his development. I think that having one or two more years in the AHL is going to be is going to be important for him to not be rushed up to the NHL. I feel like one could be a little bit earlier, but two I think will be the sweet spot. I think that two years, you know, when he's 20 or 21, when he comes up to the NHL, I feel like that will be the perfect time for him. He's already playing well in the OHL. He just needs a couple more years to get a lot more pro time in him, especially AHL. It's a big bump from OHL to AHL, so I feel like it'll still be good challenge for him and it'll develop him pretty nicely i feel like rushing him to, uh, up into the angel right now will be a little bit hasty and the stars have been guilty of rushing prospects before and not one of the worst teams in angel in that perspective but still not great at it so i feel like the texas texas stars if they're able to like, keep developing him, him but if the dollar stars kind of be patient with him i feel like that'll be best for his career and for the dollar stars in general i feel like he needs a little bit more time i don't think he'll be ready when he's ready for the nhl i just believe that is a little bit too early for him he's going to be a great player and especially if you season him a little bit i feel like he can really reach his max potential which even could be as much as a second liner I feel like he could have possibly that kind of potential but again he was a second round pick I mean a lot of those guys can become first liners so I wouldn't say that is really out of the realm of possibility he can still become a great guy especially if the stars somehow develop him right if he stays in the NHL, I think he'll, he'll do pretty well. Maybe not the best in his first season there, but in the second year, I feel like he'll be pretty do, done well. I think that he'll play really well. And usually the Texas Stars make the playoffs. They're usually a decent team, and they made the playoffs this year, and they're doing quite well. So I feel like he'll get a little bit more experience there. And if the Texas Stars go a long way, it could help his development also. So I think that even if he is not in the NHL, it's still not a terrible situation down in the AHL. I still think that I could really help him down there. I still think that that's the route that they should take. 
But don't get me wrong, in those two years, by time, I feel like Robinson will be ready. I feel like he can be a big, big fact for the NHL, and he can play farewell with Dallas Stars. Not like a top-tier guy, but I do think that he'll be a great supporting cast, you know, great guy that'll be under radar, but still provide great offensive threats, and he'll be a great guy in the future. But you can't deny that he has the potential to become a great guy in the NHL. He's been dominating throughout the OHL, and he's been doing pretty well in his career so far. So I do feel like he has that potential, of course, being drafted pretty high in the second round. I do believe that he has that potential to become a second liner possibly, but I think third line, second line, that fringe guy is kind of realistic for him. I don't believe that'll go farther than that, um, but I think the Stars have a pretty good solid piece right here they can use for the future, and I think that'll be very, very good for them. They've kind of needed a guy that's stable on that third line. There's been a lot of changes recently, and a lot of guys have come back and forth, so I feel like having a stable guy on the third line will really help that team just overall, just enhancing that core for the future. Yes, he is a giant stretch for the NHL, but even if he is ready even if the uh, stars do think is ready i still think that having that one year in the ahl will be at least very beneficial for him again you can never never bend you can never really underestimate the ahl seasoning and a lot of people can contest to that because it really is that important but i'm really excited for his future for the all stars to do with him. I mean, he's been dominating the OHL. It's just going to see how he performs in the AHL is going to be the interesting interesting part, but I'm really excited for his future. I feel like he could be a great player for the Dallas Stars. That could hopefully turn him them into at least a playoff team in the next couple of years. I feel like he'll be an important piece going forward. So that is going it for today, guys. If you guys enjoy it, make sure you like. If you guys really enjoy it, make sure you subscribe. Share it with your friends if you haven't. Tell me down below what you think of Jason Roberts and what you think that his timetable to come up to the Dallas Stars and play well will be. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.